Good morning. So here we are at the veterinary emergency <clears throat> emergency hospital. Little mouse. A couple days ago, we think he ate some pins that we were using to um, make some curtains for our patio. Um, he's been uh, yesterday. There was a he wouldn't eat, um, so we had to like hand feed him, trick him into thinking he was getting treats and. He was actually just getting regular dog food. And then uh, this morning he was yelping and whining and uh, wouldn't stop doing that. And uh, so we're here at the veterinary hospital. Say hi, honey. Hi, I'm filling out the paperwork. So Dana's filling out all the paperwork. It's curbside only, so they're gonna come out and um, take a look at him and see uh, how important it is because they said sometimes you have to wait to see the doctor based on their vitals. Uh, he's doing okay right now, but he does keep crying out. Yeah, he really, he won't lay down. He, he will only yeah. sit. Is he on there? Yeah, he's on there now. Yeah, he won't lay down, he'll only sit. Um, and every once in a while he just starts crying. Really um, loud. Yeah, so hopefully, hopefully well, they can get him in there and at least get an x-ray to see because he also eats his, um, here she comes, he also eats his uh, toys and it may be yeah. rabbit ears. Also has a tendency to chew on his stuffed animals, and he just got a couple of new ones. But um, he pooped yesterday, so this uh, started happening. When was it, honey? Like um, not yesterday, but the, the day before at four okay. is when he roughly would have eaten the pins because he only had the thing for a second, and then I grabbed it. But he had it for enough time to be pulling out some yeah, pins and had, stuff. Yeah, he was pulling them out and just putting them on the rug, and I don't know if he ate any. So I thought I'd just watch him, and now he's acting like this. So don't bark. That's not nice. Um, yes, he had oh, only ate yesterday crunchy food and just small amounts by hand, like they were treats. Okay. And then he he wouldn't eat his wet food at all. And But he pooped yesterday twice. Okay. And I gave him some aspirin in the morning and then because he was kind of like just a little bit shaky and acted like he didn't feel good and he was fine all day yesterday and then this morning really early he started uh, crying out okay. really loud and he won't poop now okay. and he won't eat so stop stop you have to be nice and his eyelids look really pale to me well enough to bark yeah. Oh, I also did give him another canine aspirin um, this morning at 6.20. Do you know what kind of aspirin? It was, it's actually canine aspirin okay. from the pet store and it was 120 milligrams. Um, he weighs 15.89 pounds, I think. And, um, that's what it said for his range. Okay. Yeah. Um, since uh, he might be painful, would you guys approve of a pain injection? Absolutely, yeah. As long as it doesn't conflict with the aspirin yeah. that I already gave yeah, him. Yeah, okay. You're okay, honey. And then, is he up to date sh so far on shots? Oh, yeah. He went through his whole puppy series, got his rabies, and then he was neutered last week. Okay. Um... Where exactly um, have you been getting the shots? Vetco. Vetco? Okay. Uh huh. All right. Has he vomited, diarrhea? Mm -mm, no, and yesterday his bowel movements were perfectly fine. There was a little bit of a stuffed animal in okay. one of them, so I don't know if he has stuffed animals in him or I'm mm -hmm. hoping it's not the pins. <sighs> And no 
puffing, sneezing, <coughs> anything more than the no, normal? no, he's super healthy. Okay. Yeah. And then any other medications besides the aspirin? No, no. Okay. He had three days worth of um, meloxicam or something like that okay. that they lived with. The yeah, okay. and that was it. Yeah. Okay. All right, Bubba's. Why you gotta eat things? <laughs> I know, you right? Eat things. That's not good. All right, so I'll be able to take him in. I'll start with getting his vitals done. Okay. Um, I believe right now my doctors are in round, so it might take a little bit to, okay. um, for him to be seen. Uh-huh. Um, but right now I can take him in, get his vitals started, um, possibly have my overnight doctor uh, take a quick look at him just to give me a dosage for the pain and just okay. so to be a little bit more comfortable. Okay. Yeah, he's fine in between the this. Okay. Well, he won't lay, he won't no, lay down we'll or anything. Put him on the floor or the ground if you want. He's really nice. He's just a puppy. Yeah, that was a yeah, we'll yeah, get back to you in a little bit. That's where we took him, right there. Well, it was worst case scenario with mouse. The uh, needle, it wasn't a pin. It was a sewing needle. Um, and it has uh, perforated his intestine and they believe that it is no longer in his intestines. Um, they're telling us that they might have to do a resection of his intestine because depending on how much damage there is. Um, anyways, the, the bill is uh, 6000 $6,016.16. Um, that's what they were trying to charge us um, for him swallowing a needle. And, of course, there, was be, there would be extra days that he would have to stay at $2,000 a day. So we're uh, taking him to a different vet. Um, it's pretty far away, but uh, yeah, we're taking him to a different vet. Um, Hopefully, uh, we can get him uh, all fixed up. Um, hopefully, it's not the worst case scenario and that these people at this emergency place um, were not, um, at, were not uh, correct. Um, I don't know how they can tell from the um, uh, x-ray that the needle has left his intestinal tract, his GI tract. Um, I think that they were basically trying to take as much money they were trying to take every penny that they could possibly take from us um, so we're uh, we're getting him out of here and taking him to another vet hopefully it won't be six thousand six hundred or six thousand whatever dollars um, so he's been here about a half about a uh, uh, five hours and uh, no telling how much it's gonna cost us um, for the x-rays and all this um, so basically what I'm saying is if you have a pet and the pet swallows a needle, and he's whining sometimes, but not all the time. Um, don't push on his stomach. Don't do any kind of probing or anything like that. Um, keep your dog away from all the other dog. Make it so he's not excited, so he's just kind of putting around. If he's feeling pain, he can lay down, whatever. And then um, make an appointment at a regular vet. Because if you go to the emergency room for the vet, you go to the emergency vets, um, it's cost you a fortune. Um, we're looking at probably over a thousand dollars for this five hours of uh, basically just fear tactics. They basically just try to scare us into um, allowing them to do their stuff and, um, and I'm sure that they would have come across it and it would have been worst case scenario. So it's good to get him out of here because I'm pretty sure if we would have left him here they would have ended up cutting out part of his intestine and doing a resection. Um, I just, uh, I'm totally, totally don't like this place. Um, so we gotta take him to a different vet that we can hopefully afford. Um, and then they're gonna do the surgery and remove the, the pin. Um, hopefully, yeah, hopefully everything goes good. Um, but uh, so far, it's a worst case scenario. So uh, we'll keep, in, keep you posted. And uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Hi everyone. So, Mouse had his surgery. We're on our way to go pick him up from the other place. And we took him. Animal Medical Hospital of Surprise or something like so that. So it's 
instead of six thousand sixteen dollars yeah. plus two thousand dollars per day for a couple days after you paid three thousand seven hundred seven hundred and where you picking up today plus we also at the emergency clinic had to pay nine hundred uh, just for what they did there they did x-rays That's about it, right? Yeah. Oh, also, we had to borrow money from a really good friend slash family member for this. So, um, we have to pay them back. And if anybody wants to help, you know, with that, with our GoFundMe, at this time it would be for Mouse. Mouse's surgery, which was 3700 So, we $4,700 a day today money that we don't have. Yeah, can you believe the dog swallowing a needle costs forty seven hundred dollars to get yeah, fixed? Yeah, but it's just all been just a horrible traumatic day. But things are working out. Yeah, at least Moss is coming home. He's healthy, he's all fixed up, no more needles in him. Yeah. And we woke up this morning to the sound of him crying hysterically. Yeah. Got everybody up and out of bed this morning. At about so, six or yeah, so? Yeah, six. The doctor said that um, the needle had gone, um, it was starting to poke through his rectum, so it wasn't a, in the best spot to make an incision, but um, he said it was really small, and so he felt good about it. So, All right, we'll check back with you soon. Here's our little fella. He's back. We're in the car. Russell's driving. You can see his incision, and he has his little IV bandage. We take, take the next left toward West Bell Road, then turn right onto West Bell Road. Sorry, we take that off in two hours. There's our guy, and he's still really sleepy. Um, it's about two hours after we picked him up from his surgery from the doctor's office, or the vet's office. He's in a lot of pain. He keeps, uh, every once in a while, he'll, he'll whimper and whine a little bit. But he's pretty much just sleeping. So that's his second surgery in about two weeks with his neutering. And now this. So what happened is the needle was poking into his rectum. his rectum a little bit. So the doctor had to um, put a little incision, you know, just it was just a little incisions. And uh, then he sewed him up. And But even with just little incisions, it's still very painful for, for yeah, him. For sure. Where's the needle? Oh, I had Ethan put it up on the counter. 
Yeah, they gave us the needle back. It's got a little bit of thread attached to it. Here's the needle that was in him. That little hook looking part is thread. Yeah, this is the thread. It's actually, it ends down here. It's in the gauze. Yeah. So, so it's about, about inch and a quarter. Yeah. Oops, about an inch and a quarter. It was inside of him. He's breaking up a little bit. Aww. Yeah, so he's had a rough day. Like I said, he's had a rough couple weeks. So we dropped about four grand on this little guy today. Um, so we had to pay the first vet like seven, almost eight hundred dollars. Mm, it was almost nine hundred dollars. Almost nine hundred, and then the mm. second vet we had to pay third about thirty two hundred. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Pretty expensive to get a needle removed from a puppy's stomach. So I highly recommend you keep all needles away from all puppies. And it was a complete split. Second accident. Yeah, and he it, it was up, actually up on top of on a ladder on the top of a ladder, and he actually climbed up the ladder and got the <laughs> the pin cushion off of the top of the ladder. So he's a very smart dog when it comes to getting into trouble. And he likes to eat anything. Here's his microchip tag that he's already yeah, chewed he, up. He's so managed to get a hold of that. Off. Yeah, I'm taking it off right now. I think it's cute. Yeah, but what if he eats that and then we're yeah, back true. in there? <laughs> well, I'll stick my arm up there and remove that sucker. I ain't paying him no four thousand dollars. Oh, it's it's amazing what you do. Just for kidding. I would not do that. That's gross. Tiny baby boy. Plus, my arm would definitely not fit. <laughs> and he's our precious boy. Yeah, he's our little boy. We had to get his get him all fixed up. He does not have insurance. Mm -hmm. All right, but he's going to live to fight another day. We actually took all of his stuffed animals and everything away because he was also eating the ears and feet and stuff off of the stuffed animals and anything else that he could bite off and chew up that he was swallowing. So we've, we've taken everything away from him that he can chew up and swallow. And he's going to be on a soft diet. Yeah, we, they got him on a soft GI. diet for GI diet. Yeah, GI diet for at least a couple of days, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, she said a quarter of a can. Yeah. Something like that. And Twice they gave us day. like three or four cans. Yeah. So. And he's going to be getting pain medication, which is gabapentin. Yeah, which is he's the taking the same thing. medicine as I am. Yeah, that's what Russell's taking. And then... Um, antibiotics that have to be refrigerated yeah and everything is with a syringe yeah it's all liquid so that'll be shoot easy. it down their throat yeah, yeah he he took his medicine from his medicine so well it was just so easy to give it to him he has really conked out yeah i think he likes listening to the sound of our voices yeah, he was whining before. I was kind of yeah. a little bit sad, you know. He's so sad. He's in like pain. Just softly whimpering. Yeah. And crying. Before we took him, he was really like, you could tell he was in a lot Oh, yeah. Pain. This morning when we woke up, and... he was in all kinds of pain, yeah. Yeah. I'm just so thankful for this vet. You know, he was the uh, chief medical director of the clinic. He did his surgery. Well, I'm just thankful we were we were able to get a loan for the money. If we wouldn't have been able to get the money loaned to us, yeah. we would have been. Well, he had the mouse would have been in a lot of trouble. Mouse would have been. He would have been. You know, what do you do when a dog has something and you can't really wrong with it, it and you can't afford to have the doctor fix it? I don't know if you have to give the dog up to the hospital or who, or what you have to do. But mouse that was, first place was very money oriented yeah that first place was like well if you can't afford it you can always have him put to sleep i was like holy shit what and when we were there these two guys were bringing out um a yeah dog or some animal in a in a box, a box. yeah it was very sad and, i just hope that it wasn't because uh, they couldn't afford it I know. Oh, it's horrible. been a very very long trying day yeah it's been a long day but mouse made it through exhausted. it we're super happy about that Here's our little boy. He's much better today, much brighter. He had some water. 
He's gone outside. He pooped. He still hasn't eaten, and he's very tired. He took his medicine. Oh, Melcy, are you feeling better? A little bit, huh? Oh, you say hi? Say hi to all your fans. Tell them you're a good boy. Tell them we watched dog movies all night. We watched Benji and Rescued by Ruby. And we had a lot of quiet, quality time. You mostly slept. And I slept in very awkward positions, trying not to disturb you. <laughs> Say bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.